Welcome to Mid-Century Misconceptions, where we seek the truth behind mid-century era designs and their manufacturers. Today, we're headed to the Hagley Museum in Wilmington, Delaware, to investigate a 1957 catalog from John Stewart, Inc. Hey, Melissa at Mad Mod World here. I'm in Wilmington, Delaware at the Hagley Museum, which is on the DuPont Estate. This is an awesome place to visit. Not only do there are there tons of like exhibits and you know normal museum-y type things, they house the most phenomenal library. So I had to come to peruse a catalog today and um, <clears throat> it, it, this is just an amazing place. So I just got out of the library the main library and um, perused a 57 page John Stewart Inc. catalog from 1957. I did get some dirt on Sigvard Bernadotte. There's a whole two page spread on him. With um, the chairs that I restored, the version with the tilt back, which mine are not, but um, but there was a really cool information in there about him and about the company, the woods. Those chairs were made in teak, and they were also made in um, beach, I believe it said. So anyway, I have photos of everything that I took out of there. Soda House houses um, collections of documentation and manuscripts, and um, it, it's a separate um, facility on the property, but um, they actually have this whole collection of items that were donated in, I believe, 1977-ish, when a big interior designer um, from New York City closed their business. And his records include all kinds of catalogs, many of which I want to look at. That's unrelated to what I'm doing today. But um, an extensive library. There's um, their projects, documentation from all their projects that were going on. Um, it's fascinating stuff. So um, I'm definitely going to be heading back there to um, look at that. That um, item is housed off the facility, so you do have to make a reservation. Um, and tell them what particular items you want to view out of that. They're, they're uh, listed by boxes or totes. So I just need to um, spend some time on their website, figure out what I want to um, see and reserve them for a specific date in the future. So um, I'm excited to go back down there and peruse that. Um, don't forget that there are many libraries um, out there that have this kind of stuff. Um, to find a catalog on the secondary market is sometimes hard. Um, even eBay prices go way up because people want them um, and they're really nice to have as a reference I know I particularly own like a 1991 null catalog which I've used many times um, to help people you know even it tells you what the yardage you need for the restoration everything so so this stuff is very important and I'm kind of excited that these museums are preserving this history because you know 50s 60s isn't really that long ago so it's not considered an antique but somebody was smart enough to know that this would be valuable information in the future so it's pretty exciting you can get more information on the Hagley at their website hagley.org pop on over to madmodworldvintage.com where you can sign up for my mailing list Check out all my shopping links. And of course, check out my blog, where I talk about my latest acquisitions, projects, and lots of before and afters. So many fun things, and I share all my tricks and secrets. <laughs>